Welcome to Jojo Science Show. Today, we're gonna make an egg float. Eggs don't normally float, they normally sink. Alexa, give me a life hack. Sure, you're a good egg, but is the egg you're about to scramble for breakfast okay? Test it by dropping it into a glass of water. If it floats, it's a stinker. Get rid of it. If it sinks, start shredding the cheese. That one's fresh. For this experiment, you'll need an egg, and make sure to get your parents to help you with an egg because eggs are really delicate. That means they break easily. Let's see what happens if we place some place an egg in water. Come on, egg. I believe in you. You can float. Or not. Aw, it sinks. Too bad. Why do objects float in water? Objects float in water if it is less dense than water. The amount of space an object takes up is called its volume. Density is how much material fits in a certain space, or how much mass an object has in a particular volume. Do you like all that? In other words, a small object that is very heavy has a high density, like iron for example. A big object that is very light has a low density like styrofoam. If an object is more dense than water, then it will sink in water. See? Like this nail. And an object is less dense than water, then it floats in water. Just like a boat. Hey, speaking of a boat, I think I have a 3D printed boat right here. It floats in water too. So how can we make this egg float in water? We can't change the density of the egg because it's sealed, but we can change the density of the water. Isn't that so cool? How can we do that? How, you might ask, including me. Did you know there's a body of water called the Dead Sea that's very easy for people to float in because it's very salty? Maybe I'll go there and learn to swim. We can add mass to the water by dissolving salt in it. Mix that in, just like so. When we dissolve salt in the water, it becomes heavier without taking up more space. That means the water becomes more dense. But we need more salt. Come on, salt. Let's see if it's more dense than the egg. It kind of floated there for a second. Let's see if the water is more dense than the egg now. Ooh, the top is sticking up. Wow, it floats now. We changed the density of the water, so now the egg is less dense than the water and the egg floats. If we get the egg and the salt water to have the same density, then it will levitate in the water. Thanks for watching JoJo Sign Show. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell down below so that you don't miss any of my fun videos. Remember kids, science is fun!